we're back with Terry Steven, uh, Terry Stevens, who has written a book, Hope Recovery and a New Life, and it's all about um, how he made it through um, probably the worst, most difficult time of your life, um, yeah, recovering was. from a stroke yeah. and um, and all that that um, entailed. And I'm going to write. I'm going to read something from your book. Oh, great. Okay, Love's yeah. Sound. And it was written July 3rd, 2013, and it was Recovery at Home. Sing a tone, love it into sound, welcome the breath, and follow it around. Play with O, oh, let it find its way, and it leads you to a brighter day. <laughs> and the whole book is actually, has um, a, a whole lot of, of poems, mm. little bits of inspiration that, um, that you found yourself writing. Did you put this book together once you had decided to do it? What were you hoping that people were going to get from it? Inspiration. <clears throat> that was a little, uh, I asked uh, some friends, what is the purpose behind this? And they said it would be inspiration to nurses, to people who had strokes, to uh, maybe even beyond that. You know, anybody who has a physical, mental, or spiritual uh, problem. And we all do. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, yeah. And we all do. Yeah. Yeah. So, Where can people find this book? You can go online on Google under Hope Recovery and a New Life. The company is called Blurb. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you just type that in, this title, you'll find it. Let's talk about your art. And, oh, there's an e-book. There's a soft cover and hard book. Okay. Let's talk about your art. Yeah. They're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Where can people <laughs> find, because I know that you dedicated or you donated um, paintings to the hospital, the Queensway yes. Carleton Hospital, which yes. is, I know you have a very close association with. I do. Um, it's like family. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, when did you, have you, you've always been involved in, in art, correct? Uh, no. I started painting about, uh, I guess, six years ago. Okay. And uh, as I said, my mentor, Kenneth Mills, Yes. who taught me how to sing. I was in the studio one day, and, he, and I was just rolling a wall for him, uh, his fireplace. And he said, put down the roller and watch me do this painting. You'll be able to use it in your artwork. And I thought, artwork? I don't do any artwork. <laughs> so, and uh, look, look so at I, you. I started doing that, and then... Uh, Therapeutic for you? Oh, during but, your time of recovery? Totally, totally. I found the more I could focus off of me, onto something creative yes. that you're tied in uh, much more closely to something real. Would that be something that you would, a piece of advice that you would give to others who are suffering through some sort of a health crisis is to yeah. get involved in something they love? Absolutely, because uh, if you do something you love, you're focusing more on love than the problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really important. So when I was uh, painting, I uh, set up every day uh, something on the easel. So the next day I get up and I go, oh yeah, All right, this is what I want to do today. So how many paintings do you think you've completed? Oh, this year about 25. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so, so the two that we have on set, mm -hmm. are, there, do, are there names for these? Uh, yes. This one behind you, which fills up most of the background. <laughs> Jamie in the Wilderness. Jamie in the Wilderness. <laughs> I love that. What's that called? Uh, that one is... Uh, do you remember? Uh, which one did I call that one? Um, uh, yes, a tranquil uh, interlude. Okay, and there's also one yeah. behind you, and yeah. we're showing that now. And, and this, what's that one this called? This one's called a sunny day. And what did you do? What did you donate to the hospital, the Queensway Carlton Hospital? I donated well, uh, or this one here, the original one. Okay. And uh, someone else bought another one I had to do because they liked it so much. Where Where can people <clears throat> find out more about your painting? If you go to Art Zone. Uh, studio.net that is our website mm -hmm. artzonestudio.net okay, that'll, that'll get you there. there even if you go under Terry Stevens under the yep. it'll uh, google it what's new for you now what are you doing um, well more paintings and uh, riding the bike we did, yes, we did yes. our, our biggest bike ride <laughs> of yet a 64k ride wow which uh, seemed impossible at first, and uh, it was when I met with Dr. Yang that last August, mm -hmm. and she said you got 28 out of 30 on your uh, um, 
exam for mobility. Yes. And she said, you can drive a car now. So I thought, you know, in my naivety, I thought, well, if I could drive a car, I could ride a bike. That's all about balance, you know. Uh, healing yeah. from any sort of physical issue. Um, we've all had, uh, I think, or we know someone who's <clears throat> dealt with some health issues. Yes. Attitude, obviously everything for you. Yeah, it really is. It really, uh, it, it always is. But uh, not accepting limitations, yeah. even if, uh, well, for example, <laughs> I went to a speech therapist, uh, yep. well, in uh, rehab, there are two speech therapists, wonderful, Angela and Narissa, mm -hmm. and then they referred me to an out clinic, outpatient. Mm -hmm. I went to this lady, uh, Sarah and Emily, and Emily was a senior speech therapist. So I said, well, uh, you know, what is the hardest part of the speech? She said, well, speaking is more difficult than seeing. So I said, well, you mean I can, uh, sing? She said, well, yeah, you could, you could sing. And I said, what do you mean by paralyzed? Because they said one vocal cord is paralyzed. Okay. And I thought, well, what do you mean? And she said, well, it's just that the mind isn't making the connection okay. to the vocal cord. We, we've only got 30 okay. seconds left, oh, and I wanted to end the show like I do with all of the other shows and okay. ask you for a one-word answer to this. The word that best describes those who cared for you. Uh, word, uh, love. Word to describe your wife. Love. <laughs> Art, music, writing has brought you. Joy. Thank you, Terry Stevens. <laughs> it's you. been a joy meeting you. <laughs> you too. Thanks so much for watching One on One today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>